All right, welcome back to Power Lunch, everybody. High interest rates not just making it challenging for prospective home buyers. Car owners are experiencing sticker shock, and it is squeezing budgets for them as well. According to Cox Automotive, the average new car price is up 30% since 2019 to just over $48,000. Car insurance rates nationally rose 20% at the end of last year from the prior year, and the average new car loan is up 50% from 2021. Here to discuss rising costs of owning a car and what this is doing to Americans' budgets is Jade Warshaw, a TikTok influencer and co-host of The Ramsey Show. Jade, nice to have you back. Welcome. Well, thanks for having me. So everybody knows that cars are more expensive. Interest rates are higher. I think many people know that insurance is up. So how are they able to buy so many cars? <laughs> You're exactly right. We've seen car insurance go up 20 to 20.8%. And Americans are feeling it. You know, the average American pays somewhere around $212 a month just for their car insurance. So that bump in insurance, they're going to be paying an extra $42 to $45. That, along with an average car payment of over $700, no wonder Americans are feeling that squeeze. And if they, do, if they want to stop feeling that squeeze, they're going to have to make some changes. And that starts with their budget. What do they have to do? You know, I always recommend people buy cars in cash. And the moment I say that, people go, what are you saying, Jade? I'm just going to walk out and buy a $35,000 car in cash. Not at all. Most of us just get fed up with our car payment. We sell the car. If we're not able to pay it off in two years or less, I recommend selling that car and really buying a car in cash somewhere around eight or $10,000. And you can always upgrade as time goes on. I think you're I think you're right about that, by the way. I think I've always sort of been told that the, that the most economical way to buy a car is to buy for cash because you don't mm -hmm. in a lease. You've got financing costs are built into the lease. Or if you take a loan, you've got financing costs there. So it is. But but then that that means that I'm not getting the hot, sweet ride that I want. <laughs> That's right. But, you know, my buddy, Dr. John Deloney, says all the time, we've got to choose reality and we've got to live in the reality of what our finances will allow. And I always tell people, you've got to look at the opportunity cost. When you've got a $700 a month car payment, you could either use that on a sweet ride, as you so eloquently <laughs> said, or you could invest that money and over the next 25 to 30 years, have yourself one $1.1 million. So the choice is... Up to the consumer. <laughs> Is our gas prices giving consumers any relief, especially after what we saw a year or two ago? I, they're probably feeling some relief there, but I feel like it's just been counteracted by this insurance going up. And so at the end of the day, we've just got to be on top of our personal budgets. Every single month, we're making a completely new budget because every month, our money is different, and what's required of our money changes. So I always recommend a good, detailed, realistic, flexible budget that is going to solve that problem for Americans. So I guess there's no way I can... Well, I can, are there ways I can reduce my insurance costs? Absolutely. You know, obviously, the model of vehicle that you drive does matter. If you drive a Tesla, there's more technology in that vehicle. And so it's going to cost more to replace it or repair it if something were to happen. Uh, and I always like to tell people, think about where you live. If you live in an area where there's a lot of natural disasters, hailstorms, tornadoes, fires, your insurance can go up. Obviously, if you live in a place where there's a lot of uninsured motorists on the road or an area where auto theft is high, unfortunately, all of those things do drive up the cost of your insurance. And um, I'm not suggesting that we all up and move our homes, but we can do something as simple as deciding that we're going to drive a less expensive vehicle and pay for it in cash. All right, Jade, thanks very much. Good advice. Jade Warshaw. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.